What is El Nino that everyone, including the weather departments, are talking about? When waters in the eastern Pacific near the Peru coast become warmer by 0.5 degrees Celsius above their long-term average temperature, it creates a weather pattern called El Nino. But before this, let us first ask the first question. If El Nino is an abnormal event, what is normal? And why is the Eastern Pacific so important? Now, the stretch of water of the Pacific Ocean from Asia and Australia to South America is a large swathe of water. And the interplay between the ocean water and the atmospheric air just above it determines much of the world's weather patterns. Normally, what happens is this. There are trade winds that blow from this eastern Pacific coast to the west, that is, towards Australia and South Asia. Why do they blow? It's nature's way of removing extremes. The air over the equator is warm and hence the pressure is low. So the air just south of it, in latitude, say, 20 to 30 degrees, blow towards the equator. These winds in the Pacific carry the warm surface seawater towards Australia and Asia. In the Pacific coast of Peru, along the east coast of South America, as the warm water moves west, the lower cold water moves up and continues to keep that coast cold, thus maintaining the flow of trade winds. Now let's come to El Nino, which is forecast for the current year. Once in two to seven years, the Pacific waters near Peru get warmer than normal. This weakens the trade winds and they are unable to carry much seawater towards Australia and Asia. This results in droughts for Australia and for India as well. So now the big question for us, will 2023 definitely be a drought year for India since El Nino is forecast? Scientists point out that several El Nino years in the past have not been drought years for India. Foremost example is 97-98, a strong El Nino year, but India didn't see a drought. And here in this table are more examples of moderate and strong El Nino, which did not result in drought in India. Now, the Indian Meteorological Department says that El Nino this year is expected to strike in late August. Experts say that early sowing can lead to a large part of the harvest in India being normal. Also, they point out India's irrigation has been increasing and irrigated land has jumped from about 34.5% of sown area in 2013-14 to 45% in 2022. This also has weatherproofed India's crops to some extent. Hence, El Nino may not lead to a poor harvest this year, according to the experts.